Thank you. Thank you very much, Butch. And now we shall have the call to worship. I am the Good Shepherd. Forgive us when we have not listened to your voice. 
you live and die. You walk alone our son. We give you thanks for all of your tender mercies to us all. You prepared, you feed, you call all of your sheep, even those of us who are lost, those who us who astray, constantly those of us who stay close to your comforting stuff. We acknowledge your loving kindness to every one of us, despite our frailties and sins. You are always ready to forgive and accept us back to your fault. Today, we pause to offer our thanksgiving for all your goodness in our lives, for our families' joys and favor, the blessings we cannot count, the protection, new life, and opportunity to serve you. Thank you. There are so many who walk in the shadows of fear and suffering and despair. And so at this time, we remember them. We leave them to you. We pause now to offer our prayers for our brothers and sisters who have lost a loved one. Be their rock and comfort in times of trials and life. We pause now to offer our prayers for those amongst us who are suffering financially, emotionally, and spiritually. Lord, have mercy to everyone who needs to know that you are God and that you are always near ready to help and save. We also offer our prayers for all the believers in, the, in this church, for all of our families and friends, and for everyone in our community. A loving shepherd, oh, a loving shepherd, we have all we need as we live in you. We pray in the name of Jesus who taught us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And give us not in temptation, and deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, and the power. And they go for Amen. Shepherd. The good shepherd 
lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and run away. And the, and the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because the hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, for I lay it down on my own court. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it away up again. I have received this command from my Father. Thank you. You may go. We have the uh, song coming up, the response song, Thy Words of Lamb. A good shepherd knows his sheep. 
a single flock of sheep can have as few as ten or hundreds of them, regardless of how big the number of sheep in a flock is. A good shepherd knows each and every sheep in the flock. A good sheep knows each and every sheep and their characteristic too. Second, a good shepherd provides for his sheep. A good shepherd provides for his sheep. Sheep obviously cannot voice out their needs. Yet the shepherd naturally knows the needs of each and every animal in the flock. Shepherds don't allow sheep to drink from running water because sheep, while bending to drink water, might also fall into it. Therefore, shepherds draw water and give it to their sheep to drink. Third, a good shepherd restores his sheep. A good shepherd restores his sheep. According to Whitney, there are many characteristics that set sheep apart from other animals. They are dumb and are innocent creatures, incapable of defending themselves. Sheep that falls on their back cannot get up unless someone rolls them over and helps them to stand on their feet. So when they fall, the shepherd is there to help them stand up. Or, the good shepherd guides his sheep. Good, the good shepherd guides his sheep. A shepherd knows exactly where the best feeding grounds are. And he leads his sheep to those places. And on the way, he protects them. In our New Testament reading, chapter 10, Jesus explaining to the people that he is the good shepherd. Jesus tells the people that the good shepherd knows, provides, restores, guides, and protects the sheep. He is telling the people that they are the sheep and he is the good shepherd. Jesus is the good shepherd. And if they believe in him, they are the sheep and they will know his voice. They know he's the real master. And who was Jesus to those people who were listening to him at the time? To many, Jesus was just a man. They did not believe his claim as the Son of God. John chapter 9, the chapter before our, our gospel reading today, tells us of the story of Jesus restoring the sight of the blind man from birth. Pharisees witnessed his miracle, but even if they saw it happen, still these Pharisees doubted and did not believe in Jesus and his claim as, and, and his claim as the Messiah. So in our text, John 10, Jesus tries to define what and who a good and bad shepherd is. We can conclude 
basing from the story in John 9, Jesus was the good shepherd and the Pharisees were the bad shepherds. Jesus found the blind man, talked to him, healed him, led him to safe pasture. Jesus gave him a new life, a life with sight, a life with hope and joy. The Pharisees did the opposite thing. When they saw and talked to the healed blind man, they told him he is a sinner since birth. Instead of properly caring for him and believing and rejoicing in his healing, the Pharisees drove him out. My brothers and sisters in the Lord, who is the good shepherd of your life? Is Jesus your good shepherd? Or it is other people whom you look up to? Is your good shepherd your possessions? Money? Is your good shepherd the people whom you love? I believe with all my heart that nothing and no one can give us protection, guidance, and restoration, restoration the way Jesus can because he is the good shepherd. If you consider him as your good shepherd, you should know his voice. Just like the sheep in chapter 10, verses 5 to 6, we will not follow a stranger because we recognize our real shepherd's voice. The man born blind refused to listen to the Pharisees because he knew they were pretending to be good shepherds. The man born blind turned to Jesus and believed him that he is the Messiah. He knows him. He knows him cares for him, guides him, and he is the one who restored him. Jesus indeed restored his sight and his life. This is the message for all of us today. Our confession today should be, Jesus is my good shepherd. I believe it is my provider. First, Jesus provides for all of our needs. We don't need to worry about our needs because just like the shepherd, he is aware of the needs of his flock and leads them to green pastures and still waters. Jesus is aware of our needs as well as how and where to meet them. Second, Jesus restores us when we sin. Jesus restores us when we sin. When we fall, let us not forget to come to Jesus. And if we truly repent, He will restore us. Just like what He did with Peter. Peter repented and Jesus restored him. Judas on the other hand, did the opposite. He took his own life because he permitted feelings of guilt in his heart instead of repenting and allowing the Spirit of God restore him. So if you have done or doing a sin right, right now, come to Jesus and repent. Allow him to restore you. Jesus guides us to the right way. 
Jesus will not guide us to paths of sinfulness. He wants to lead us down the paths of uprightness. So he have, so we have to be weary of heeding always God's will in our life. Jesus protects you and me. Jesus protects you and me. Just like David when he said, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Whatever valley you are walking, whatever valley <coughs> you are walking right now, valley of disappointment, valley of discouragement, as long as you believe in Jesus the Good Shepherd, you do not need to fear. Instead, claim this promise to those who know and listen to the voice of this one true good shepherd. May God bless us all. God bless all the sheep who believe and listen to his voice. Amen. For our closing song, let us sing for a thousand times this year. Love in truth and in action. Oh, yes.